Hey guys, I'm back with another candle review, and this time around for the 14.5 ounce three wick midnight spell candle from Bath and Body Works. This is part of the upcoming Halloween collection, and this is indeed $36.95 because it comes with the decorative but rather juicy and a substantial uh, like gold snake lid that you see off to the side there. Uh, so yes, this is coming out in like matching body care as well. And so that's why this fragrance actually does smell more like a body care fragrance than anything else. And it's actually kind of underwhelming or boring to be completely honest. There's nothing about this that evokes Halloween or spooky or smoky or like October, November in any way. Uh, it's really just like kind of a neutral body care fragrance that could be really marketed at any time of the year. But I guess more so spring, summer, to be honest, than it, than it would be, I guess, fall and winter. There's not really anything like... I don't know, cozy or spooky or, or, or yeah, I don't know. It's just, it's just kind of there. Uh, but yeah. So in any case, uh, the notes on this read mystic air, moonlit woods and crystal amber, which doesn't really tell us anything because what does air woods and amber smell like, but I'll try to, to do my best to dissect this. Uh, yeah. Uh, just, just quite underwhelming. Uh, if you like, the kind of like sort of neutral, almost like slightly woodsy, but still clean at the same time fragrances that you would get from like, let's say Kaleidoscope or Lovely Dreamer from Bath and Body Works, or even like kind of that like nondescript body care fragrance you would get from like Pink Cashmere. It's just kind of like that. It's just, it's not really distinct. It's more of that sort of like woodsy, clean with just a little bit of extra amber warmth in the background is kind of what I get from it. So what I get is kind of like a cedar wood that's not too different from the cedar wood that I guess you would get from Kaleidoscope. So there is definitely like a woodsy component in here for sure. Uh, but it's like not smoky or super heavy. It's just more like this, like a neutral body care woodsy feel to it. Uh, and then it's mixed with a little bit of like a slightly clean nondescript floral is mixed in there as well to give a little bit of sweetness. Uh, and it's rounded out by like a little bit of like a, uh, I guess slightly creamy warmth that you would get from like an amber fragrance. And that's pretty much what it smells like. Um, yeah, I don't know. This could like, just really be any kind of like neutral body care for all year around. There's just nothing really super like spooky or Halloween about this. Like if, this could truly be marketed as anything in the world uh, because it's so just like nondescript. But I, I don't know. It's here as Midnight Spell. Uh, and that's pretty much what it smells like. It's just if this was not in this Halloween packaging and it didn't have the Halloween hype machine behind it, I would 100% never bought this. This could be just like, I don't know, cedarwood and amber in a neutrals collection and some just like regular generic packaging. And I wouldn't ever even given a second thought about this. Um, honestly, if it wasn't for like reviewing candles on YouTube and all that kind of stuff. I don't think I would even pick this up even for the Halloween packaging. This is 100% like you might still enjoy this fragrance, uh, but it's just not super remarkable. But I would say it's more so like very much a packaging buy and decoration buy rather than like, oh my God, this is a unique, amazing fragrance. But once again, everyone's taste is different. So you might actually really like this fragrance. Like if you like Kaleidoscope or Lovely Dreamer or Pink Cashmere, those just kind of like neutral, nondescript body care fragrances, check it out. But don't expect something super spooky or unique for the Halloween season from this, at least in my opinion. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, also, uh, like that stupid, there's like the black scratch on the like the jar. Be careful. Like that scratch was there on to begin with when I first purchased it and I didn't realize it until I got home. Uh, so you can see like the paint does scratch off and then so the flame does like flicker through it uh and also that label and the fact that it's a like a oval cut and not a die or a kiss cut is just like really grinding my gears because it just looks really cheap on that black matte jar but any case yeah here it is there's midnight spell like if you like it for packaging check it out but like don't expect this like mind-blowing amazing fragrance so that's pretty much it let me go into the performance this is either a third or a fourth burn, and it has the thick rope like wicks that are very massive. This candle sets like just absolute crazy. I mean, do you see that? I mean, just like so, so much soot. Uh, and so I think the like the trade off on this candle is like okay, it has dark like deep gray slash blacks black wax on it and so if you put more especially heavy like black dye more like dye in a candle uh it tends to clog the wicks and makes it harder for the candle to burn so to compensate for that you have to like up the wick size and make a massive to combat the uh like the drowning that you would get from the amount of dye that's in here and i think that's what's happening here so at least we're not getting a dudding like a dudding out drowning candle but as a trade-off you get this massive hot inferno of a candle I and mean, this is no more than like two two hours and like it is just sitting like crazy it's just really hard to get this candle under control uh and then i'm afraid if i trim it too much then it's, it is indeed going to drown so this is just really like not a win-win situation on this so ugh, yikes uh as for the throw it's also quite 
light. Um, I would say maybe like a three in an open concept area, maybe up to like a four, four and a half in a smaller room. Uh, but it will probably get list if you lost in like a double height ceiling type of like grand living space. Uh, but you can smell it minimally in a bedroom. So definitely in the light range, it just doesn't have a lot of oomph. It's just kind of like as light and sort of non-existent as that kaleidoscope shower gel was, at least for me. Overall, between the low throw and just the totally underwhelming uh, fragrance, I would not get this. I certainly wouldn't repurchase it. If I had to go back in time, would I have purchased it? Absolutely not. It's just totally for review purposes. Uh, so I would obviously, you know, if you're just really in love with the packaging, then, you know, spend money however you want to. But for the fragrance, just nothing to write home about whatsoever. It kind of sucks that this is, has to be like an accompanying body care release. And so by that association, like it has to smell like a body care fragrance rather than something that's a little bit more in line with like a spooky Halloween fragrance. Um, I'm not quite sure what I would have wanted this to smell like, but I, this is just not it. So that's pretty much it. Thanks so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.